Hello refining enthusiasts! In this video I'll be building a pyrolysis reactor to process PCBs in preparation for a smelting rather than simply incinerating them. Plus it's exciting to produce all fuel as a byproduct of this process. At first I consider using a barrel with a 0.7 mm thick body but it was extremely difficult to weld with a stick welding. On the top of that it wouldn't last more than a few rounds. Here is what I decided to do. I abandoned the idea of using the barrel and opted for an LPG gas tank to serve as the pyrolysis reactor instead. First things first, I needed to ensure there was no gas residue left in the tank. To do so, I evacuated it using a vacuum cleaner. Next, I cut the bottom of the tank to install a flange, which will serve as the lead. After that, it was time to weld the bottom flange. First, I needed to bend the ring to serve as a junction and weld it to the tank's body. Next, it was time to build the fire chamber. Then I checked if the coupling tightened correctly and cut the lead to fit the coupling into it.
With the reactor fully built, it's time for a test run. I decided to place some plastic inside the reactor to check if the temperature is sufficient and to ensure the reactor is fully sealed. As you can see, vapors from the plastic are coming off. Next, I will design a condenser to convert these fumes into the diesel and gasoline. In part 2, I'll cover the condenser's construction and run some e-waste materials through the reactor. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.